you take a pic, I might just say the shit That be my favorite, no I do not stalk your page and shit, no I got my ways and shit Nine times out of ten, you look better than your friend, yo no. You're a ten out of ten, I'ma have to pick up my chin, yo Hey guys, so this is gonna be a really quick video I'm just showing you guys how I Why is it so close? I'm just showing you guys how I touch up my faux locks You can do this on goddess locks, faux locks any kind of locks um so this is the side that i already did it looks nice and fresh i only did the first two rows so the back is still like i don't know you can literally do your whole head if you want to but i just want to do like the first two rows to give it that um fresh look again um this side i did wash my hair um so this side i have to do i'm gonna put um, some of my edges back because I left out too much the first time I did my hair so I'm gonna leave out about um, just this much right here and then a little bit on the sideburns so yeah so the only thing I'm gonna be using is a red tail comb and some shining jam and the hair that I'm using is called um, the hair that I'm using is by Outra Expressions. It is the Afro Springy Twist hair. Um, if I take the card off. So this is the card. This is the hair. Um, it was $7.99 a pack for three like bundles of hair. So this is what the bundles look like. They come like this. It was three bundles in this pack for $7.99 which seems like a pretty good deal so I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side and my hair is still a little dirty like this part I just couldn't get that part out so I honestly don't care too much about it being um still dirty because I'm probably gonna take this out in like another week or two this is just so um I have like a fresher look because my hair was just starting to look kind of old as you can see on this side this is how my hair was looking even before i washed it so i'm just gonna take some of the shining jam i'm gonna take some of the shining jam and apply that to my roots i'm just gonna apply that i'm gonna leave out some yeah i'm gonna leave that out like a little bit yeah once you apply your shining jam you kind of get the hair going the way you want. My scalp is also a little dry, so I need to add some like oil. I'm gonna take, um, so what you're gonna do is take a small amount of hair. You don't need a lot. I'm gonna take like about this much hair. I'm gonna start wrapping around the base. I'm gonna take it and fold it like right there. I don't want my nails. I know they look crazy. And you guys can see, I'm just gonna take it and rip, rip. Not too tight because you don't want to pull your um, hair out because you'll start to get those like white, um, the white knots, which means that your hair was too tight and it's coming out or it's gonna fall out when you take your hair out. So. As you can see already, it looks like a lot better. So I'm just gonna wrap this all the way down. This also helps if you have like hair that's like coming out of the faux locks. Um, the locks that I have in my hair are uh, crochet locks, but I did them individually. So sometimes uh, my hair will start sticking out. So. That's the first one. I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna do two rows back. So I'm gonna do this one. Here I'm gonna add some more shine and jam. You could literally, if you wanna touch up your whole hair, like if you wanna wear this style for like another month. I think I've had my hair for about a month now. So if you wanna wear your hair for like another month or so, you can do this and it'll make your hair look pretty new. So I'm just taking some more hair. Um, I'm gonna take a little less than that. So I'm just taking some more hair. 
doing the same thing. And if you have a red tail comb, you can kind of use that to clean up your parts. My scalp is really dry right here. So I'm going to add some oil after I do this. So I'm just taking it and wrapping it around the roots. Now you could also, um, like, you could also retouch your hair by, um, like, twisting your hair at the roots. But I don't really have a lot of new growth yet to do that. Um, and if you do the, if you do decide to do that, um, your hair won't lock up as long as you don't leave it in too long. Like I wouldn't leave it in for like two more months if you're gonna do it that way. Um, but that's also another way to touch up like um, any kind of locks. You can just twist the roots with. Like I said, I don't have enough new growth to do that, um, so I just like doing it this way. Because it still makes my hair look fairly new. So. And then I just go like this at the end. And yeah, that's how those do look. And it literally takes no time to do that. So I'm just going to speed up the rest. As you guys can see, I only have one more row left, and you can see the difference between the ones that aren't touched up and the ones that are, and I just have to lay my edges on this side, but it makes a big difference. So I'm just going to do these last three and come back when I'm done. on this side so this is what it looks like now that I'm done I only did the first two rows because you can't even see the back so um, yeah it is a little stiff but that'll go away after like a couple of days um, yeah this is this side again and then uh, let me show you the back and then this is the back but again, you can't, I wear my hair down most of the time, so you really can't see the back of my hair. So I just wanted to do the first two rows to give it 
um, a fresher look. So yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.